A garbage disposer adds convenience to any kitchen. Today's models operate more smoothly and are quieter than older ones. So whether you're replacing your existing model or installing one for the first time, stick around and we'll show you how. If you're also installing a new sink, attach the disposer to the sink before setting the sink into place. For working under an existing sink, a bucket and towel will help you keep your workspace clean and dry. There are two main types of mounting systems, 3-bolt and easy mount. If you choose a new disposer with the same mounting system as the old one, it will speed the process, but only if the existing mounting system is still in good condition. Before you begin, make sure you read and understand the safety and installation instructions that come with your particular model. Begin by shutting all power off to the disposer at the breaker panel. If your disposer plugs into the wall, unplug it. Also, it's a good idea to turn the water off to your sink. Place a bucket or pan underneath the disposer and remove the drain pipe. If there's a drain tube from your dishwasher, remove that also. Now, insert a screwdriver into the locking ring and unlatch the old disposer and carefully lower it. If your disposer is hardwired, remove the access panel to the wires and undo the electrical connections. Again, make sure the power is turned off first. If you need to install a new sink flange, loosen the mounting screws of the existing one and pry out the mounting ring. From above, remove the old sink flange and clean any old putty out from the sink. Now, apply a bead of plumber's putty to the new sink flange. Place a towel down and use a weight, such as your new disposer, to hold the new flange in place while you install the new mounting ring from below. For easy mount disposers, simply screw the new mounting flange into place. For three bolt style, put the new gasket and mounting ring over the sink flange and secure with the snap ring. Tighten the three screws on the mounting flange in progression so they're snug, but don't over tighten. If your new disposer is connected to the drain from your dishwasher, remove the knockout plugs by tapping with a hammer and screwdriver. Then remove this from the disposer. If you cannot get it out, you can leave it and the disposer will grind it up, but it might take several days to be completely ground up. If you do not have a dishwasher, leave the plug in place. If your new disposer is hardwired, remove the electrical access plate and attach the wires according to the manufacturer's instructions. Lift the unit up to the mounting flange, align it, and with a screwdriver, twist the locking ring until it locks into place. Now you can reattach the drain lines to the disposer. If you're installing a disposer that's larger than the old one, you may have to cut the drain pipe to fit with a hacksaw. Clean any excess putty from the sink flange. Put your bucket or pan under the disposer and turn the water back on. Check underneath for any leaks. If everything's fine, plug the disposer in or turn the power back on and test it again. Check your owner's manual to see what you can or cannot put down the disposer. To stay up to date on all of Menard's how-to projects, subscribe to our channel here.